Welcome to today's broadcast. No matter what kind of day you're having, please remember that God is big and God is good. He is bigger and better than you think. A few years ago, I had a business appointment at one of the hospitals in Springfield, Missouri. Through the window in the lobby area, I could see a large construction project that appeared to be almost completed. My client, anxious to point out the hospital's newest addition, said something to the effect, our new wing is almost finished. Aren't we making great progress? Without thinking, obviously, I responded, I'm not sure that's progress, ma'am. For me, progress would be tearing down hospitals for lack of use. As is evident, I don't have a typical perspective on health and healing. Now, I'm not against the healthcare industry. I just don't want to participate in the way that our culture in general thinks about health and healing. So what does God have to do with health and healing? This is certainly a justifiable question for people who don't have any interest in God. But sadly, many born-again believers don't think God has anything to do with health and healing. At least they don't act like it. Something's gone wrong. Something's gone haywire, in my opinion, whenever Christians trust the medical community first, before trusting God. God has everything to do with health and healing. If we exclude God from any aspect of health and healing, then we are getting what is most important. To not include God in learning about health and healing is as absurd as excluding the inventor from a discussion about his or her latest invention. For more, please visit GiveMeThatMountain.org and have a wonderful day.